Hi, Data Guy here. And today I got a really fun, but also functional video for you on how to use the Python virtual environment operator to run Snowpark queries within Airflow. Um, so this is actually going to kind of require that you actually are using uh, the Astro CLI and are running a local Airflow environment that way. Um, you can do it other ways, but the Astro build kit and the way it will build an environment for you um, just makes it a lot easier. So just giving you that context, let's get into it. Um, so the main goal of this video is basically to select using this query, um, some data from a table we've created within Snowpark. Um, and so what Snowpark is, is just a way to operate within your Snowflake environment using Python. Um, so the issue with using with Airflow with Snowpark is Snowpark uses Python 3.8, Airflow uses Python 3.7 and 3.9. So you have a problem. You got to use a different Python version. So the way we get around that is instead of directly interacting with Snowflake, what you'll use is a Python environment that's 3.8 to then run those Snowflake operations in. So how we'll do this is just, I wanted to show you what the actual function is. So callable external Python, um, and this is using this Python environment. So what we'll need to do to actually run this is create our Python environment. Um, and so to do that, the first thing we'll need to do is create this Snowpark requirements file. So your Python virtual environment by default won't actually inherit the requirements of your base uh, Airflow environment. Now this is somewhat obvious, but just I, mean, I personally didn't really understand when I first did it um, because it's in a different Python version. So the requirements of your base Airflow environment just probably not gonna be the same or it might not work. Um, so then after you've created this requirements.txt file, what you'll also need to do is bring in this build essential into your packages.txt. So this is where you need to have the Astro CLI because the build essential um, is an Astro created mention that basically allows you to dockerize and create your Python environments without needing to create the logic to create your Python environments. It just handles all that in the back end. And then all you need to do is say within your Docker file, um, you know, pull from this particular uh, extension of the Airflow base image and then create this Python environment using 3.8 calling it Snowpark. So this is the name of your Python virtual environment. And then you have the requirements.txt file that you'll be using. Um, so really simple implementation. And then once you started this up, it will create both the local Airflow environment, but it also build a separate Python environment using those parameters you set. Um, so it is a little more computationally intensive, just something to you know keep in mind if you're wondering, hey, why did this just spike the amount of disk usage um, for me? But just so you know that. Um, so if we look at the rest of the pipeline, it's nothing really special here. Um, and again, I'll always drop the tutorial down in the description, uh, but we're basically just printing the context. So, you know, Hey, this is the environment that we've created. Um, then you have this task external Python that is running this external Python function, um, which is just basically bringing in the snowflake hook in session. So one important thing is you'll need to import any libraries or things within this Python script that you need to be using that are 2.8 or 3.8 specific. Um, then you'll define the hook, run the query, and then we're just gonna print it out because this is again, just kind of a test case. Um, so we're just gonna print it out for us so we know that, hey, it actually worked. I'm gonna go back and check in snowflake. Um, so if you want to extend this anywhere else, like you can use this external Python function for literally anything that you want to use that doesn't work with Airflow's standard version of Python. Um, and yeah, just really wanted to make a quick video on this to show you. Um, and now I'll take it over to the UI just so you can see what that looks like as well. So now here we are back in the good old Airflow UI. Um, so going into this Python environment operator, um, just wanted to quick show you guys what the actual output is. Um, so first we go in the print the context. This is literally just giving us the context of our virtual environment that we're using. Um, so you can see the environment variables that are being set, um, execution date, just basic, basic stuff. Uh, doesn't really matter, not really relevant, but just want to show you. And then if we go into our external Python operator, this is where we're actually uh, performing that Snowpark action. Um, so if we go down here and then we parse it out from this log file, you can see the return results here where the row, uh, average reps upper. So this is just querying that dog intelligence table, um, seeing that we're getting the upper 
limit is 8.25, lower is 11. Uh, again, not super important, but this is just what the end result of the tutorial is in the link below. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a reference point. Um, the only other thing you didn't see was just creating the tables within Snowflake, but figured if you're using Snowpark, you probably know how to do that within Snowflake. Um, so hope you learned something doing this one. I know I did, and have a good one. Data guy out.